just going to try a bit of a variation on Dennis Moss's uh, emerging mayfly. So here I have a, a grubber type hook. This is a size 10, but I suppose you'd use a 12 or something like that as well. And I'm going to use black thread, although you could also use olive or yellow, something like that. So the original one uses like a like an antron for the shock part of it. And what I'm going to use here is a little bunch of like a tiny bit of uh, an opossum. Oh, this is a, an opossum skin and what I'm doing is looking for these sort of dirty, browny, whitey bits down around things sort of where they mix. And my thinking behind this is that this bit will absorb the water a bit better and should therefore sit in or under the surface film. So this is pointing down, it's just to give a representation of the shock that has came off as the fly hatches. So we're going to parallel rib, so you can use straight parallel rib or just use a bit of whatever sort of wing material or something that you have about, so I'm using a little bit of pearl crystal hair here. And then for the body uh, is a, a mix of olive hair's ear fur and natural hair's ear fur. And uh, again here I've sort of diverged a little bit and I'm using a mix of olive uh, pine squirrel skin and a little bit of that uh, opossum. I've seen that uh, it still s sort of has spiky yard hairs in it, but it's uh, a little bit easier to dub. So, wax up our thread, spread the dubbing down it, and then twist. is essentially a clink hammer uh, but instead of using your normal sort of antron posts Dennis was using uh, he moved to your more using fox and I think the idea behind that is that the fox is softer and more collapsible uh, and therefore when the fish takes the idea I think is that it's not as foreign feeling in its mouth so take a little bunch of a sort of a golden olive kind of fox. Now there's two ways of doing this. You can, you can put it underneath like that if you want or just tie it straight in on top and keep several wraps in exactly the same place. Pull the two up and get your thread around a few times and then tighten that up to create a little bit of a neck and force this post together. Then super glue the base of this to try and stop the post moving about on your hook. I Dennis original used a Greenwells hackle and I'm using a Greenwells but what I've done with this one is I've over dye it in a, a sort of a synthetic picric idea. I'm tying that in with a couple of strokes on the actual uh, shank of the hook and then taking it upwards putting in a couple of wraps there so it's sticking straight up the post and now we'll put on 
the thorax and for this one we're sticking sort of with the original which was a an olive medium or light olive uh, seal wax the thread take over the seal and just run it along the wax thread and then twist that together. Now we want to create our thorax so go forwards to the further front most front part of it and then come back again behind the post and then I'm coming up straight in line with the post round the back of it two turns and just let it hang then we're going to swap our hook round in the vise and now to create the post to hold this in position what I'm going to do is super glue two to three inches on my tan thread and then I'm going to wrap up the post and that's sort of compressing and it's taking the hackle with it and then I'm coming back down to the base and hanging this off to one side so now we take our hackle in the hackle pliers Find as many turns as you feel like down that and then you want to wiggle this tying thread behind all of the hackle. Once you've got a couple of wraps on it tying it off I take it this way and then get a couple of turns under it. try using the hackle pliers to do this but I find it very difficult so basically I've put on a loop I'm going to catch that with a needle and then the underside of the loop is the one that's not moving and I'm just going to super glue that and then Pull that loop down in. If you want for extra security, put on the second one. A little bit of glue. Catch your loop. up to yourself you can leave that sticking up or trim it down to whatever size suits you and that is our Moss Emerger May variant.